Welcome back to Mr. Stewart's Lessons. This is the second part of our scrolling platform demo lesson. And uh, in our first part, we showed you, I showed you how to draw a map from an image. Now I'm uh, going to show you how to shift that map, make a, a method that will shift that map. Um, so what we're going to do, um, <clears throat> this is going to happen in the, uh, in the sky world, okay? Uh, what I'm going to do here, this is my sky world. The first, before we start, let me just show you these uh, variables that I set that are important, the left bound, bottom bound, top bound, and right bound. Uh, just to remind you what these do, <clears throat> uh, we have our w world is coming from this image that we created in the first lesson. and. Uh, Right when we start, we're going to be looking at like about this much of it, some tiny little corner down here, right? Uh, so the top bound, if you look at the top of this blue part, that's going to be the top bound. About the right part is going to be the, I mean, is going to be the right bound. The left part is going to be the left bound, and then the bottom there is going to be the bottom bound, right? So uh, basically, all I need to do if I'm going to shift the screen is I need to move those things. That's the basic idea. So. What I'm going to do here, um, after my make map method, uh, which drew the map, I'm going to add, I'm going to start a new method called shift screen. Um, and so, and the, it, the shift screen is just going to move the screen by a certain x and y value, which can be positive and negative. So, uh, this is my, I'm going to start my method, shift screen. Um, You'll notice it takes two arguments. There's a change x and change y. So the change x is how much the x coordinate, how much it's moving by the x coordinate, and the y is how much it's moving by the y coordinate. <coughs> so what we're going to do here, um, first, what we need to do, uh, we're we're going to change the left and right bound, right? We're going to change the left bound and the right bound um, by whatever the change is. So uh, I'm just going to take this, um, I'm just going to add this part, uh, which is we're going to add, increase the left bound and the right bound by uh, however much the change x is. So this is going to, once again, right, if you think about what that's actually going to do, uh, just to show you, right, that's going to, if I think I'm going to move this part, right, by a certain amount to the right, right, that's going to shift it to the right, or it's going to shift it to the left or up and down, right. Um, so uh, we're going to shift the left bound of the visible screen to the by a certain amount, and shift the right bound of the visible screen by a certain amount, and then of course we're going to shift the top bound and the bottom bound by a certain amount as well. So uh, this is the basic idea. We're going to change the. We're going to move. We're basically moving the whole screen. Now we do have a concern here. We might go off the map. We want to make sure we don't go off the map. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in a conditional here, um, an if statement. Right? If left bound is le left bound is less than zero, right? Which would be moving off the left side of the map. Uh, then that's not good, right? We want to do something about that. Uh, if the left bound is less than zero, then we want the uh, set the left bound back to zero. And we also want to we want to set the left bound back to zero. And we also want to move the right bound. We want the right bound to be to to be uh, just as as far over as the right side of the screen, which we can get from the get with command. Okay, so this is um, right. Th so th this is uh, going to just make sure that we don't go off the left side of the screen. Now, then we have to think about uh, we don't go off the right side of the screen. So we're going to see else if uh, right bound is greater than or equal to map width. And the map width variable, just in case you might have forgot, right? This is. Uh, this we created in the first one. This tells us basically how wide the whole map is. So this will tell us if we're going off the right side of the map, right? Then we want to set the right bound to the map width variable uh, to so so it's at the maximum, 
and we also want to uh, set the left bound to be just on uh, the width of the screen less than that, right? So the map width minus the get width. So we're, we're at the right bound is all the way on the right side, and then we subtract the width of the screen to set that. So we have to do the same thing for the Y, right? We want to make sure the Y doesn't go off the top or bottom of the screen. So I'm going to set an if top bound is less than zero. Right? Uh, that's if we're moving off the top of the screen. Then what we're going to want to do, first of all, we want to, um, if that's the case, then we're going to set the top bound back to zero. Right? And we're going to set the bottom bound to, so that this zero would be, in this case, the top of the screen. The bottom bound is going to be, get the, the height, move, measure the height of the screen from there down. That's where the bottom bound is going to be, right? Then we have to see if the, we go off the bottom of the map, right? So if we go off the bottom of the map, then we'll be at map height, right? Which we set in the previous method. And uh, then we're going to, if that's the case, we're going to set the bottom bound to map height so it matches up with that um, with map height and my and the bot the top bound is going to be map height minus get height right so uh, it's going to just measure to the top of the screen so this is uh, this this is this is just going to shift the screen and make sure that it goes that the bound moves. Now, then I'm going to want to do the update command, right, which is going to draw the map, draw the um, platforms where they're supposed to be. But we need to add something to the update command because right now all the update command does is it draws the platforms where they go at the start of the, uh, where it draws the platforms where they go at the start of the whole game, right? But we want to change the update command so it draws, so it moves the platforms. And also it has to take the platforms off when the game is over. I mean, I'm sorry, not when the game is over, but when they move off the screen. So right now, right now what happens is it just checks to see if the platform is within, if the platform belongs in the world, and then it checks to see if the platform is already in the world and if it belongs in the world but it's not already in the world it adds it there so we need to do two things so the first thing I need to do is I'm going to need to add a, an else statement that's going to say if it's on the map but it's not in the right place then we need to move it okay so this is right this is this this platform dot get world equals equals null. This is checking to see if it's act. This uh, conditional here is checking to see if it's actually in if it's not in the world, right? So an else statement would be a if it is in the world. So I'm going to add an else statement right here, right? And this else statement is going to say if this is means else means if it is in the world, then this platform dot set location. So it's going to move the location to the correct place to where it belongs. And then there's one other thing that could happen, which is the platform could move off the map. So up here, right, this is checking to see if the platform belongs on the map, right? And so we need to, so it may be that it will find that the platform does not belong on the map belong on the map but it is on the map that it, it is in the world right so i'm going to can create add an else statement after this line right so this else statement is saying if it doesn't belong on the map then we want to see if it is on the map right now right we're looking through all the platforms to see if they uh, belong on the map and then we're and most of them won't be so then there's nothing you need to do if they don't belong in the map you just leave it off the map but if it is does belong on the map then what we're gonna do we're right this is again checking to see if it is on the map not equal platform dot get world not equal null this is just seeing if 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 the platforms not on the map it will its world its get world statement will return null it's not in the world 
So then all we need to do is we need to remove that object. Right, so that's going to remove object uh, this platform, right? So if, if it's uh, not, if it's we're checking to see if it belongs in the world. If it does belong in the world, we'll check to see if it's not, then we'll add it. If it does belong in the world, we'll move it to the right place. If it doesn't belong in the world, then we'll check to see if it is in the world. And if it is in the world but doesn't belong there, we'll take it off. That's what this whole conditional statement is doing. All right. Now, if I want to look at this, um, I, I want to see it actually happen. We don't have an actor moving or anything, but I can make this shift screen method work right now. If I click with my right mouse button, um, or select click, and go to shift screen here, it's going to ask me for a change X and change Y method. So say I'll put 50, 50, and you'll see what's going to happen is my whole world's going to move. And we're going to use this, and we can uh, move it by any amount, right? I can move it by just a tiny amount, right? See, it move or move it by a lot. And we'll go to some completely different place. And we're going to use this the next uh, lesson where we start making an actor and having him move through the world.